Relevés on to point are all about your timing and coordination. Unlike the rise, you now have the use of the demi-plié to help you to get up onto point. But because the action of the legs is much quicker, it is much easier to lose control in the legs and also lose the alignment in the ankles and feet. This information is for competent dance students and should only be practiced in the safe environment of a dance studio. Beginning with the relevé from the first and second position, you will start in the demi-plié. From here, as you take the relevé onto point, you will bring your toes underneath you as you go up onto point. This is exactly the same in the second position. So from here, take your demi-plié and then pull the toes underneath you as you go up onto point. Now it is really important when you are on point that you don't allow your ankles to wobble. So to help you with this, if you really push your legs and your energy down into the floor, that can really help you to stop wobbling the ankles. So again, from the first position, I'm going to take my plie and then pull my feet underneath me as I go up onto point. Getting off point is usually harder than going onto point. So after you've gone up into your relevé from here, to get back down again, you want to avoid going one, two with the legs. You want to try and come down together. So you've gone up onto point, and then from here, if you're really lifting out of the shoes, it's much easier to come down together. Like when you're landing from your jumps, like your sautés, you want to try and avoid slamming the heels down. Usually this happens if the weight is slightly back. So make sure that you're really lifting up in the front of your stomach and you're taking your weight up and forwards as you do the relevé and then you keep this lift as you come back down. So I'll just do a series of them for you to see. So I'm going to go up and down and up and down, making sure that every time I do my relevé, both feet are coming underneath evenly and you're not going with one foot or the other and then you're moving both feet evenly onto point on the way up and also on the way back down. Another thing to think about when you are practicing your relevés on point in the first and second position is that you maintain the turnout throughout the full duration of the relevé. More often than not, as the students, or as you're going up onto point, this is when the turnout can get lost. So you lose the rotation in the backs of the legs. So make sure right from the demi-plié that you're working the rotation in the backs of your legs. And then as you go up onto point, you continue to rotate the legs. So it's working all of the time. So the backs of my legs here are solid when I'm up on point. And then you continue to work the backs of the legs as you come back down into the first position. Usually, the demi-plié students are able to hold on to the turnout, but it's as they go up onto point, that's when they lose the turnout in the backs of their legs. A lot of the time it's because they're concentrating on working through the feet to get up onto point, but actually it is more important to really think about, or just as important, to really think about working the backs of the legs so you don't lose the turnout in the relevé on point. Thank you for watching. I will be sharing my new video for you next Thursday morning. Please do comment below if you have any thoughts or questions and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have found this video useful. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then you can subscribe by clicking the icon below. The full length videos can be found at my website, tipsonballettechnique.com. You can also choose your next video by clicking from the selection here. Thank you and I hope to see you soon.